Whitesburg, of course, being uh, what they call a county seat town, uh, it uh, was a business center. It uh, attracted business at that time. It came in to uh, purchase their needed supplies, and then on court days, uh, they, large crowds would come in, and uh, perhaps wouldn't any of us think about it now. It just took for granted it was more or less going to continue. The mall began to move in, and that uh, spelled a death knoll for downtown. Uh, I grew up in this town. My parents live up on the hillside up here, and um, so I remember um, about 72, they built a little shopping center over on the edge of town where Kentucky Fried Chicken is now, and they put all those... Um, metal buildings over there up. And um, that was the first development outside of Main Street. So it was, the place began to look very different during that, um, say, middle 70s time with new houses, new buildings. And, um, and then, of course, um, the next big uh, set of changes came with the bypass built around town and the Walmart Center built. Those came in the early 80s. You know, any kind of, anytime you put a shopping center out in the edge of a town that's brand new, that has all this new commercial stuff and new kinds of stores, new kind of pizza facilities, right, new kinds of uh, low-cost jewelry, low-cost cut-rate drugs, low-cost cut-rate everything at Walmart, you're going to have a majority of the people that used to come to Weisberg go there first. Oh, the reason I shop at Walmart's that's because they're, they're low prices, and uh, down in Weisberg, everything's too high. So you have discount items, and it's always an easy thing to get into the shopping center versus going downtown. Downtown, you go down there, and they expect, uh, they expect your money down there. There are a few uh, uh, hard-working Main Street entrepreneurs. They all are trying very hard to maintain their businesses on Main Street, but it's difficult. That's why we're changing the direction of downtown a little bit to be service like medical, uh, the MCHC clinic, uh, government services, the courthouse, the jail, uh, the banks, lawyers, dentists, doctors, and others, uh, architect. If they had better parking downtown, I'd probably go down there more. Well, I think the number one problem has probably been because of the parking facilities in the downtown. They we worked closely with the merchants. They had a perception that if you did free parking on Main Street, it could enhance the business. Uh, we have a free parking lot on uh, East West. Main. We have a pay lot on West Main. We don't uh, perceive there to be the parking problem that uh, there was at one time. We had a and they get off work and they want a friendly service. They want, uh, they want a nice scenery. They want uh, something pretty to look at. They want something that's very appealing to them. Of course, the city's not really appealing. It's, it's uh, becoming run down. It's getting old. I think it's a difficult thing for a community to um, both change with the times and hold on to things that are here that are valuable. That's it's an everyday challenge, that it's not obvious what things you discard and which things you fix up and keep. And I think we haven't always done as good as we could. For example, those metal buildings that went up on the far side of town, mm -hmm. or even that Walmart Center, to my eye, aren't especially pleasing. Um, one of the good, thing that's ha good things that's happened in terms of architecture is um, a lot of the downtown buildings have been renovated, including the Apple Shop building. But I think Apple Shop was the one that really got people excited in town about what you could do with an old building. Uh, they took the old Dr. Pepper bottling plant and converted it into a fantastic facility that's a big draw and probably uh, gives Whitesburg more name recognition than any other single thing. Uh, the way Apple Shop took their old warehouse, which was a complete wreck, and turn it into a really thriving, active, and a beautiful space. People couldn't believe that it could be done, but when they see it, they believe that maybe they could do their own building that way. 
uh, banks sort of picked up on the idea. First, Bank of Whitesburg got the idea, and of course, then the first security had to do the same thing. They wouldn't be sitting out. Well, we were so small. Uh, the bank, the original bank, was built for a, a one million dollar bank, and we started growing. And through our growth, we had to ask, uh, add more people, more desks, more workspace. That we were literally sitting in each other's lap, and there was very little privacy for our customers. They had to discuss their business with a loan officer that others could hear. And it really amazed me that we could take the same lot, the same site and put all that we have into it uh, without additional space. But, oh, I think the town has been proud of the remodeling. Uh, the citizens have told us that it was a great addition to the town. I think this is a beautiful building. I think it, it has absolutely amazed me. We're seeing the change now, a drastic change that was vacant before I was elected mayor, but the uh,